Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, on this Friday morning, kind of doing something, just a little extra, little video here. And I'm sure you can see what we're looking at. Uh, this is from uh, 21222 on a, a deadlift uh, video. And uh, wow, I just looked back, I was just kind of browsing through my deadlift videos and uh, came across this one number one same hat uh, i've had this hat for a while anyway you know, i've got the same pants on too you'll notice but anywho uh, that's not about the clothing i'm just kind of looking back at my journey and uh kind of want to go over what we're looking at here so, uh, number one, you can see I was a lot smaller there. I dropped, uh, I started dropping weight, which is uh, really odd for me to even do. Uh, but that did happen uh, in 2016 whenever I started cycling all the time. I started dropping weight, but then it came back on. And then uh, on this journey here where I started working out and changing up my nutrition and all that good stuff... Uh, I started dropping weight and but now I've added weight back on so I, I don't really drop weight real easily and it, if I do it comes right back on no matter what so basically got to starve myself so uh, having said that this really ain't about that but it is uh, wild to see how small I got I got down to 218 which I've not been 218 since the 90s so uh, that was really small for me. Now, I don't know how much I was here, but it was probably close to 218 at this point. So, uh, anyhow, if you don't know, this is the house that we moved out of just back in October. Uh, we were there eight years or so, whatever. And uh, this is my room that I turned into my gym first uh, before I moved into the master bedroom, which was... Anyway, we don't, we don't have to get into all that. I get that going on. But anyway... This this is kind of uh, interesting to watch and uh, see how we go about things. So let me speed up here a little bit and get into it. Let me do a little dancing. So first of all, okay, Mike, quit it, goofball. So what you're going to notice here, number one, is uh, my shoes. That probably ain't the first thing you notice, but I have shoes on. I don't deadlift in shoes anymore, and I haven't for a long time, because you don't need to wear shoes, especially those kind of shoes. You can wear extremely flat, no sole, like super thin, nothing shoes with no support, no nothing. And they even have shoes that are dedicated for deadlifts, squats and stuff like that. But anyway, I don't wear shoes anymore. And then on top of that... Uh, Look at my form. Look how I'm doing here. Uh, we're looking at more of a conventional deadlift versus where I started going later on into more of a stiff leg. So as always, of course, we're starting out with uh, 135. And that's uh, it's very interesting to watch this technique here and uh, just to kind of see how it all progressed and you'll notice I'm using that same cruddy bar and still got those black spray painted weights I picked up that bar in those 245's uh, just like in a neighboring county guy had it all for sale for about I think it was $70, $75 something like that so I said eh, I'll go get it and a uh, good little, good price for what it was. And uh, so it works. I still use them to this day. So talking about what we're doing here. So I put 25s on each side. That's 185. So what I want to do is kind of skip ahead. I don't want this to be a super long video. I just kind of want to look at a couple things. 
So this is 275, looks like. Again, form looked pretty good for a standard deadlift. Pretty decent right there. One thing you'll notice is the bar is dragging up my shins, which is kind of how that goes when you're doing these kind of deadlifts. I'm glad I don't do that anymore because I was tired of having my shins beat the heck up. And it didn't matter if you if I wear pants or socks or anything else. It, you know, I didn't go to extremes and try to put like, you know, go out and buy like the leg sleeves and different stuff like that. I didn't do all that, but still constant. The old 35s. I don't know what that is, like 295 or two something, I don't know. 225 plus 70, you can figure it out. I suck at math. I guess that's 295. I don't know. That's crazy to watch, guys. And see, even back then, back then, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to include the bar in my lifts. But course you do it's just uh that's so funny to think about back then i wasn't even sure if i wanted to include the bar <laughs> that's that's 45 pounds you you want to include the bar that's crazy And I didn't even write down 315. I wrote down like 270 or whatever I said. So here's 315. Got 345s on each side and the bar is 45. It's crazy. So... Fifteen, thirty-five, forty. I think it's three forty-five. Let's skip ahead just a hair. So that's a ten and a five and three forty-fives. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So I think that's three forty-five. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. So now we're going up to 365. Got a 25 on each end. This is so crazy, but what's even more crazy is kind of my closing comments and stuff in the video. <laughs> of course I'm yelling there because oh, it's heavy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm turning this up a little bit so we can hear. With the bar. So it's 365 that I did. 345, a 25, and a 10. So now we're like 385. It's 385. I'm going to give it my dangest. I promise. That's so crazy. This is why I say you need to look back at our videos and follow our journey. Number one, don't look at my back right here because I'm not in position. So, not too bad. Not too bad for a hard pull there. Okay, well, you just seen me fail at 385. I failed at 385, guys. Isn't that crazy? I want to get that one rep. I want to get it. This will be a PR if I can get one rep of this. I'm giving it one more try. 
Likewise. Come on, Mike. One more try, guy. You can do it. 385. <laughs> That's so crazy. So listen up. can't do it, guys. It's just that much too heavy for me. Disappointed. I'm happy I got the two. I'm happy I got the 365 as easily as I did. I mean, you've seen that. It was pretty decent. Just going up 20 pounds, man, makes that much difference. I think I say it here in just a second. I'm not gonna be down on myself. I've never been strong at deadlifts ever. See, I'm saying that right here, but the fact is, I never really trained deadlifts. See, I was actually training deadlifts on this new journey that I'm on. Whereas before, years past, I never really trained. It was just periodically I would try and do a deadlift, you know. And I mean literally, like, you know, hardly ever. I didn't really train to, to do deadlifts. And... One of my top deadlifts that I think I have video of way back when was, I think, 365 maybe. So, basically, I'm just matching that. But I never really trained deadlifts until my new journey that I've started on. Uh, you know, 25 years ago, I was never strong at deadlifts. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, however well, many I'm years. not really thinking of anything. I'm not really thinking Even of that. My biggest and strongest, I was never good at deadlifts. My back throws me off, and eh. you, know, you can only do That's so an much. excuse, Mike. Now, I have a goal of 400 pounds. Did you hear that? I ever want to go. 400. Did you hear that? I said I have a goal of 400 pounds. But what's funny is I thought that I remember telling myself that I have, which I know I did at one point after this, but I have a long-term goal of 500 pounds. I think I've said that. I'm pretty sure it's my big long-term goal that I had. Now, I've since reached that on New Year's Eve. Just this past New Year's Eve, I pulled 500 pounds. And I've pulled it now probably four other times. And I've pulled it from an elevated, uh, from being elevated on my rack, uh, two inches. Uh, I've pulled it probably maybe another three times or so. I don't know. I've, I've lost count. But I've done it now, you know, a handful of times. 500 pounds. Far away from 400 pounds. So it's kind of, it's crazy to hear me say that because, I mean, 400 pound deadlift, not really that great. But I guess for me, at the time, you know, that was a heck of a goal. So it's just crazy how things change. Okay, let's just feel good to get 400 pounds. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? And now I've repped 405 pounds for 10 reps. As you can tell, this workout was more about seeing what I can do. Versus last week, it was more about doing a lot of sets, a lot of reps, you know, kind of more of a high volume kind of workout. So. And also, this was long before I started using uh, that powder that I use. I've only been using that now for, you know, a few months. You know, not not too long. It'll be a year, but it, it, it's a few months. So I, I wasn't even using powder, chalk, nothing. I'm proud of myself for sticking in there and doing it. And uh, be proud of yourself, guys. Anytime you try to do something. So. And uh, there's always next time. You may never reach that goal that you have, but. At least you can be happy knowing that you tried. I know it sounds stupid and cliche and excuse kind of, you know, buttering it up, the, you know, excuse. But it's true. At least you can feel like you tried and gave it your best. I mean, I just gave it my best two times here. So. But I guess my but best wasn't good enough. There's always next time, and I will eventually get uh, 385. I will eventually get it. Yep. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little... So see, there you go. 
uh, that shows you proof right there, you know, of where I came from and sticking to, you know, your hard work ethics and your determination and, and uh, being persistent and consistent. And, uh, I mean, I've long since blasted past, you know, that. And uh, that that's just so... Uh, I don't know, it, it makes me proud to look back and see stuff like this and uh, how hard I've worked. And, uh, yeah. So, that's, that's what this journey is about, guys. That's what all this is about, is uh, looking back and being able to see, the you know, where you came from and where you're at in hopes that you put forth the effort to uh, excel. Because that's why you started this in the first place. You wanted to get better, and I think in my case, uh, it's it's really a case of getting a lot better. Uh, I've put on a lot of weight, unfortunately, but you know, like I said, I gain weight with ease. And there's a lot of people out there that might not believe that, but there's days I don't hardly eat anything. So, you know, I just I put on weight really, really easily. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, we're not all born with the same genetics and, and uh, metabolisms, all that good stuff. So, you know, that's the least of my worries right now. My worries right now are continuing this journey, continuing to set goals for myself, and uh, trying to do the best I can to reach those goals and uh, not make excuses like my bad back. Which it is really bad. But uh, I, I keep pushing forward and keep doing my thing. And that's what you have to do to uh, win. Not just the battle in the gym. But in the life in general. You can't keep making excuses and uh, expecting things to change. So anyway guys. I just kind of wanted to throw this quick little video at you. And show you that you can accomplish things. And uh, it, it's all just in the work that you put towards it. So, anyway, guys, if you appreciate this little step back in time and all my, my videos and all that good stuff, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael. You're a pretty satisfied, accomplished host. All right? And uh, look uh, for the video later this evening whenever I do my chest, biceps, and maybe something else. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. Did I say that already? I don't know. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Bye. Bye. Get up, get out, get ready, and do it, do it.